All right, <laughs> came straight from work. It is 6 a.m. I'm out here with a old buddy you guys might not have seen in a long time, Malik. He's over there, only came with my GoPro, so I'm gonna record only on my GoPro today about my travel rod. I'm gonna get rigged up. The water looks perfect. What are you throwing, drink me? It's a two-piece bait casting rod, make it bass, six foot five. See what to throw today. Go small. Soft water. Boom. A duo pencil. Let's do it. Let's do it. First cast. You see that? There's already a fish right by me. But it's already something behind me. He's swirling. With that. With that. Come on. Ooh, he had it. He had it. <laughs> He's chasing it in. Yeah, he had it once, but it, uh, he didn't. He didn't get him. It didn't get him. It didn't stick him. Dude, he smacked it like four times. That macro is blind. Still throwing a P-line? Huh? Still throwing a P-line? Dude, he's hitting it, but he's not... Uh, he made me get hung up. Ooh, he's top on a macro are very stupid today. <laughs> they know. They know what's up. <laughs> They're like, bears don't come out on a Wednesday. Something is wrong. Oh, there he is. There you are. Come on. <laughs> He's like boiling right by it. He, he, he just hit it once. Come on. Come on. We could be friends and we can do this every weekend. Fine. You're going to be like that? Surprised you're not getting hit on that. I figured that will get hit more than me. I figured you would get hit more than me. Way out there. That's probably why they're not blowing up on us right now. There you go. Got him. He vacuumed it. He didn't even blow up on it. My top water just disappeared. Using really light line too. First fish. Yes. Break the ice. Oh. <laughs> Not the way I wanted him to be hooked. But I'll take it. Boop, boop, boop. Off he goes. Finally, Malik with the first fish of the morning. Yeah, dude, it's been, they've been small. I caught a big one the other day, just one. And the rest are like, probably like four inches. Perfect bait for dropper loop. Yeah, that's bigger than the ones we caught the other day. Let's see what happened when I throw a jerk bait. Haven't thrown a jerk bait in a while. What is this? Uh, flash pointer. The smallest one they got. Look at that, oh, big old boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no wonder when he hit the rock, broke the bill. I have faith in this again. It did me good the other day. I outfished everyone. There we go. Oh, he popped off. It was a macro. Just playing with it. Yeah. We get a lot of macros on a worm as it's fluttering down. Oh, 
Oh, that was already hit, see? Right at the drop. They're hitting it like crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Look at my rod. They're hitting it like crazy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, it's a macro. That's definitely a macro. On a worm. I didn't even, I didn't even pop it or nothing. I was just letting it sink. Another one. Oh, off he goes. There we go. <laughs> he picked it up and ran around with it. Oh, damn, look at him go crazy. Oh, bay tuna. Bay tuna. Oh, look, he's going airborne. Dude, this one's pretty big. <laughs> There you go. This feels like a this feels like a bass. Oh yeah, this one this one's definitely a bass. Is it? Can't tell. Okay, it is. <laughs> uh, not bad. A little little twelve. Little twelve. I'll take it. Calm down. Boy, look at, boy, look at oh, I'll catch them too. <laughs> Roughly 11, 12. Between there. Don't have a measurement on me. But I'll take it. Exactly what I'm looking for. Let's let them go. There we go. Not a bass. Yeah, come on. Went to pop and I felt weight just went to set the hook with it. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a good one too. Yeah, the rock? Yeah. There he is, got him out, got him out, got him out. Never mind. The rock was better, bigger than him. <laughs> Slap on a worm, bro. There we go, little guy, a little six inch. Bass this morning is slightly aggressive. They're actually committing compared to the other days. Oh, that was one right there. Oh, no, he came back for it. Oh, that was on the messed up worm I rigged. And it's still there. The worm is still there. He's biting. I'm gonna flip it. Flip it right there. Let's see if he bites it. Cast it real close. I'm about 10 yards out. All right, he's not there anymore. Let's get it. Let's get him another good cast. Oh, I just popped it out of his mouth. They're boiling all over in front of you. Yeah. There you go. As I was popping, hit it, and went for the set again. Yeah, definitely a bass. He keeps trying to go under that rock. I need to move. Third bass for the day. Third or fourth, I don't remember. Combo. Hit right there. They're right in front of me. Oh, yeah? yeah, he'd be right there. There. Got him. With that hook set. Oh, he's fighting. It's a freaking macro. I hook set on a freaking macro.
Got one. Little guy. He's fat though. All right, I don't have my big camera with me, so I'm recording once again on my GoPro. So Malik just left. I hope the I hope the quality, the audio quality on this is good enough for you guys to actually hear. So we worked all night from midnight to five in the morning. Yeah, five in the morning, all the way to Chula Vista. Got out here by six o'clock. Got here when the bite was hot, and he just left. It is now 7:47. I'm gonna fish for about another 30 minutes or so. Um, bite's pretty good. Tide peaked about an hour ago and slowly gradually going down so i'm gonna try to get the bite i'm gonna dry down a little bit more i know these videos are a lot at harbor island but it's right after work i had no sleep just want to get my lines wet and i want to take you guys with me stay tuned stick around and hope i catch some fish still on two inch worm tide looks pretty good from this angle see what happens there we go. I came back for it that was a good one Holy drag. Holy drag. Ooh, that's a fat one. There we go. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. It's talking about right there. Yes. Good one, guys. Look at this chunker, oh my God. This thing is huge. I think I say 13. 14, right at the tip. Woo, Just let it go. There you go, that's how it's done. Twinch worm never fails, guys. Ooh, we're at the drop. I was checking the time. There we go. Feels like a macro. Definitely a macro, the way it's swimming. Sway side to side, doesn't even try to dive deep. Oh no, it's not spotty. There we go. Exactly what I'm after. Not the size, but this right species. Let's go. Horse right now. Just got a oh, that was the ugliest hook set in my life. It feels a little decent. God, that hook set was ugly, but I still, still got him in. Oh, he's pulling drag, a little bit of drag. That's a decent one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not legal. But I will take it. I will take it. Well, might be legal. Nah, 13. Easy 13. Oh, he swallowed it. Look at that. He swallowed that guy. Let's let him go. There we go. 
Look, this one feels decent too. Nah, take that back. Oh, it is. Well, no, like a 10 pounds. <laughs> Got him though, right there. There you go. Yeah, this one is really nice. Look at the color on him. It's just a bright color. His teeth is extra sharp. So they're feeding at the bottom, but that's where they're hitting right now on the paws. So yeah, this is a pretty spotty. A little chunky one too. Let's let him go. All right, that's pretty much it for the day. All right, so quick recap. Went to work last night or this morning, midnight. Got off of work around 5.30 a.m. Me and Malik decided to uh, go fishing right out the worst. So we drove from Chula Vista, all the way from Chula Vista, straight to Harbor Island. Went straight to Tom Ham's lighthouse and started casting. We're like, you know what? Forget it. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's just fish. Let's just fish. Forget it. So we fished. We caught a lot. We easily caught around 20 fish our first 30 minutes to an hour. Mostly macro, about four bass, four to five bass, one small decent one. Macro decided to leave. I shot over here to to another spot over here at Harbor Island, overlooking the base, Coronado. And fish by myself, two inch worm, quarter ounce dart head, uh, or 316 dart head, I forget which one I was using, I think it was quarter ounce, by owner. Two inch sandworm, all my fish was caught on the sandworm today. Besides my first one, I, think, I believe my first one, my first one was on a top water salmon. It was a Sammy 90, I believe. I, I don't know. The smallest Sammy to make. So out here, I caught one Lego, which is freaking awesome. The bite completely just, just dropped. Like It was like a light switch, like I said earlier. It's 9 o'clock. So the past hour and a half, it was non-stop action. It was every cast, bite, 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 bite. You guys saw that. One Lego, one about 13. The rest were a little 12 and under, 7 inches. But it's fishing. I had fun. It was a quick session right after work. I am beaten. I had no sleep time for me to get home and get some sleep but i'm gonna ask you guys real quick let me know in the comments where do you guys like to fish what rigs do you guys use what's your go-to what's your go-to setup what's your go-to combo rod reel what's your go-to lure to use out here in the bay not fresh water salt water for spotted bay bass sand bass halibut what do you use you know i want to communicate more with you guys so you guys let me know what do you guys use out there and maybe i will take it into consideration and giving it a try out here it was a good day it's good fishing Beautiful sunny day. It's pretty warm. Not hot, but it's warm. The sun is just burning. But until then, guys, good fishing. Peace out.